That's why we went with cinder block. So we got that mixture down over on this side because this it is a little dark out because it is getting to be nighttime because it has been a heat wave. So we're doing stuff at night. I am in the garden. It is a little mess in a little messy in here, but by the end, it's going to look great. So I mentioned in one of the last videos that we had a new pet coming for adoption and we're really excited. It's the first one we've had. We are getting a tortoise. It's really, really cool. It's a red foot tortoise. We're super excited. And because of that, we need to build him a really nice DIY uh, outdoor enclosure for him. It's gonna be a nice simple build, but it is gonna be very effective for what we need. It's gonna be fully enclosed so predators can't get to him. So make sure you stay tuned, follow along till the end. This whole area is gonna look a lot different. There used to be a little pond here that we had. We're gonna fill that in. He's gonna basically have this whole section over here to himself. So it's gonna look awesome. Make sure you stay tuned. I'm gonna start doing some of it. I'm gonna walk you through a little bit of the build. By the end, this is gonna look really sweet. So make sure, stay tuned. All right, guys, so the frame here that I am working on is gonna be a four by eight build. Um, and if you've watched some of our builds in the past, like most of them, this came in under a hundred bucks. That's what we try and do is keep them right under a hundred bucks. So I'm gonna make the frame here come out to four feet, come down eight and then close in here. So we'll have this whole area right in here. All right, so as you can see, I have the frame kind of laid out here. I got to screw it all in, but I wanted to give you guys an idea. One of the things that we did to cut some costs, not just in this project, but also in the garden that we did here, we bought, we bought regular pieces of plywood, um, huge sheets, and then cut them ourselves. And what we did was then we got some eco-friendly uh, wood waterproofer here. Um, so it's eco-friendly, animal-friendly, it's all safe. And we kind of doused everything here, let it dry. <laughs> good, good thing it's not together yet uh, and it's just gonna help protect this throughout the rest of the season here all right guys so what these are these were two by two by eights we cut them at six feet each uh, you can leave them at eight feet if you want it taller I am not blessed with a lot of height so I don't need them eight feet tall uh, six feet was just enough I'm very close to six feet I'm not I'm standing on a hill but anyways so we cut those you wish it was all the way up to the trees? Yeah. That is super tall. Can you hold those for me? So we're gonna put this right here in the corner and where these two will meet and just kind of screw that right in there. Anyone out there ambidextrous? Ambidextrous. 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 Ambi. What power is that? The screw? Yeah. Gold. Oh. All right, so what we are building him this is outdoor enclosure for the rest of the summer and maybe a little bit into fall. Uh, but the tortoise, when we bring him inside, we're gonna have to build him an enclosure. We're gonna do something similar to that little hoop greenhouse we built because they do need a lot of humidity. I know some of the viewers out there, I know some of you guys have some tortoises. I've seen some pictures before. If any of you have a red foot tortoise and have built an indoor enclosure, let me know. Give me some ideas of what you guys have done. I'd or love outdoor. to see it. Or outdoor. Any door. Hold on, flip it. See if that's any better. Wire. So a quick update for you while uh, Gray is behind me here picking up some nails that fell inside. I just want to show you some of the progress that we've made here. Really cool. So we finished up the perimeter, got the chicken wire all around the bottom here. Tay was able to build a sweet little gate for us to get in. Um, and just in case large birds, <laughs> like some hawks, we just put a uh, nice little fencing on the top there. Nothing nothing crazy, easy to do. So the next thing we're gonna do, what's up, Gray? Hi. What are you doing? You're picking up nails? Yeah. <laughs> so the next thing we're gonna do is gonna get the substrate put in there and- a mushroom in here. Ew, gross. Uh, so the next thing we're gonna do is get some substrate in there. What we got, we have some peat moss and some play sand and soil. And we're gonna put a mixture of that in there. It'll be really nice for him. And then we're gonna build his uh, little house enclosure thing that he can kind of go in to get out of, the, out of the sun. So stay tuned, that's coming next. Right, so we are getting to the substrate part now and with uh, the tortoise what we really wanted to do for the substrate it's called cypress mulch 
but right now with the pandemic, it is almost impossible to find anywhere. I literally the other day drove to about six different stores, couldn't find it. Um, so another option for these tropical turtle tortoises, excuse me, is doing something with organic soil, some play sand and some peat moss. So we're gonna kind of mix that in, which you'll see here. Again, super easy to do. Um, and it's gonna look really cool. Basically, you're gonna just layer out the soil first, kind of spread that around, and then we're gonna mix the um, play sand right in with that. All right, guys, so we put um, rocks here on the side too, just because there was a little bit of gap there. Red foot tortoises do not really burrow much at all. So we're gonna see how it goes. If for any reason he starts burrowing out of nowhere, then we'll probably change it up a little bit. Um, it is almost pitch black out here, so a little hard to see, but I think it's gonna look good. So we got the soil out. For him to play in. So he can build castles. <laughs> Gray, do you think he'll build castles? Crows don't know how to build oh. castles. Thank God we're outside. <laughs> okay, so now we're just gonna try and mix that in a little bit here. I didn't mix play sand in the dirt. You say how? Yeah. Just like I am. All right guys, and there you have it. That is how to make a nice and effective children pen for outside. <laughs> no, so we just shut that. You just need a little turtle. latch here on the door. Wait, what? It's for, a tur it's for our turtle. Oh, it's not for you? Oh, I thought this was a little, little playpen thing for you guys. What do you think, George? All right, so we got that mixture down with the sand and the soil. It looks pretty nice. And doesn't matter how nice it is because now it's just going to get covered. <laughs> so now we're going to take the peat moss and we're going to fill pretty much the entire thing. And we are going to leave this little strip of grass that has made it inside here. Because some, um, I have never used peat moss. I don't even know what it looks like. I guess we're going to find out together. It's like really light, airy soil. That is really cool. Okay, watch out guys. Gray, go that way with her, please. Wow, that is. So last night we got all the substrate down, all the peat moss. We let it sit overnight, it rained a little bit, and it seems to look really good. I love the look of it. So. Next part we're doing, we got our cinder blocks here. We are building him a sort of little cave area for him to go in and, and for right now, we're not building a house. We're gonna do that in probably a couple days here, but for the next couple days, it is not gonna rain. It's gonna be really humid still. So this will allow him to kind of stay a little cool. That's why we went with cinder blocks. Um, the concrete will keep it a little bit cool and give him some protection in there. Again, after that, we eventually will be setting up a nice little house for him. Um, so, let me grab the top. Uh, if you followed along, this probably looks familiar. This is the same top that we had put for the cave for camo and the basking dock for the turtles. So, really cool. I might put that in a little bit closer, but that just gives him a nice little area to kind of go in and, and get away from everything. So that looks good. Guys, it's really starting to come together. I mean, there's not too much more. So one of the last big things that we got, we have his soaking dish. This is plastic. I know it looks like it's ceramic, but grab this at Home Depot. It was pretty cheap. I think it was like 12 bucks for the whole thing. It's an 18 inch. Um, so I, not to be stupid, but I know most of you probably know this, but tortoises don't live in water like turtles, but tropical tortoises especially do need water to soak in. So this is gonna be filled. Um, I'm trying to keep it over on this side because this area will hopefully stay in shade so it doesn't get warm. But this will be a good area for him. He needs that, <clears throat> excuse me, needs the water to soak in and also to drink from. They don't drink a ton of water, but really fun, fun little fact here, tortoises actually drink through their nostrils, which is weird. All right, so that might be the final touch for right now, guys. So what this is, obviously it's just a little piece of tile. Um, kind of like a cinder block tile type thing. And for two reasons. One, it's a good place for feeding. So when we put some of his greens, that we can put it all there. Um, also, it's for him to kind of walk on and it will he'll rub his carapace on it and kind of keeps it nice and smooth for him to help out. So 
Guys, really simple build. I mean, again, I know we had the outer frame kind of built from the garden, but other than that, I mean, this was a nice, easy build. Hopefully you guys follow along. As always, you can always shoot me a question down below if you need to know something. We are gonna just enclose the rest of this and we are gonna get some nice edible flowers to kind of plant around here uh, for him to kind of eat and snack on. So um, other than that, guys, I mean, this is, I'm super excited. So he's coming tonight. We are gonna have him in about, I looked like I had a watch. I don't have a watch. Uh, we're gonna get him in about a half an hour. So I'm really excited, guys. Make sure you stay tuned. Gonna be some really cool videos coming up. I'm so excited. They eat, I wanna, I wanna feed him because they eat really cool. And it just, it sounds and looks cool. So make sure you guys subscribe and stay tuned for the next video for that because we will introduce you to Charlie, the red-footed tortoise. Really exciting. Uh, I, I can't wait. And again, a lot more to come. We're gonna have to only have him out here for a little bit and then get him inside. So without further ado, let's get to this episode's good vibe shout out. It goes out to Mindy Wimberly, who said, I have a baby slider turtle. Your channel is so informative and entertaining. Thank you for helping all of us turtle parent newbies. Mindy, so glad we could help out even just a little bit and give you guys some fun here. So, you know, hey, oh, also guys, make sure you're still sending in stuff for our 10 seconds of fame. We did get a really good submission, so that will be in one of the next videos you see. But I do wanna start doing that every once, so make sure you send us those submissions. If you have, you can reach out to any platform. Hey, we're even on TikTok now. As always, Billings fam, peace. Subscribe below, look at this guy. He won't forget. They always come over to us. We are walking to PetSmart. Very, very small fish. Excellent, guys. Fred is in great shape. Woo! Clovis, say hi. Is doing so much better underneath.